and welcome back to my channel this is a look for you guys featuring some new products that I recently purchased and I really wanted to come to you guys with some new things so this is a full face and a bit of glam on the eyes with a nude lip I hope you guys will stay tuned to watch don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys all in my next video bye guys so first I'm going to apply a lotion, I must, I'm normal to dry skin. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion and it is a dramatically different type of lotion. It's great for my skin, it smells good and it really hydrates my skin. Next I'm going to go on with a sample that was sent to me in a Sephora order. This is the YSL Tucci E Clot, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Blur primer. It definitely blurs out any imperfections. The foundation and everything just lays on top of it very, very gorgeously. I really, really do like this primer. I like the way it feels on my face and it's not sticky at all, which I thought it would be, but it's not. I'm going to take this Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer and mix it with my Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I'm going to spray a little Tatcha Luminous Mist on my face and take my M439 brush from Morphe and apply my foundation as well as the Illuminizer together. It looks so flawless. Like I said, the primer really does help. Next, I'm going to take my go-to found um, concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Complete Full Coverage Concealer. And just apply this with my Black Beauty Blender to across all the places that I want to highlight. After I apply this, I'm going to take that same brush in which I had the um, foundation on. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly. There's no big difference between my foundation and concealer. I set the under eye and all the other highlighted places with my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup. Um, setting powder and then went over the face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. For bronzer, y'all yeah, know I'm going in with my fave. This is the Elf Turks and Caicos. I love this bronzer. Like, it doesn't matter how many bronzers I try, I always end up back here with this one because I really, really do enjoy it. I love just the way my face looks with this bronzer. This is just a win product. And of course, I'm just applying this to all the places I want to slim down. Now onto the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm taking this color right at the top and I'm kind of doing with it what I do with my um, Revolution Makeup uh, Rocks, Rocks My World uh, Baked Bronzer. Just uh, giving the face an extra bit of glow to the skin and it really really does work wonders then I'm gonna take the two colors at the bottom and apply them as a highlight and I actually didn't use a highlight brush I just used the other side of this brush that I had just cleaned and just apply the highlight I wanted the highlight to look a bit a bit a bit more natural and not so carved and precise but I am gonna carve and precise this nose of mine because Lord have mercy oh and I said this in I think a previous video but I'm gonna say it again never highlight your pimple look at that sucker I still see you I did do this video and either the video I'm gonna post before this or after it like right after each other so this pimple is new in both videos for highlight, I just took a little bit of peach smoothie and applied this to the under eye lid. Then I went in with Brown Harvest from, I believe that Brown Harvest is from Coastal Scents and apply that into my crease as my transition color. And I used my E40 Sigma brush to apply this into the crease. And there's nothing spectacular about it. The peach smoothie is from Makeup Geek, guys, if you don't already know. Next from Makeup Geek, I'm taking this color right here, quote, Cocoa Bear, and just further defining the crease. Not trying to be too precise, but just taking it a little bit lower than I took the Brown Harvest into the crease. Next, I'm taking this color right here. This is Makeup Geek Americano, and I'm further defining the outer portion of the eye. I'm going to go in with a black, but before you apply a black, you should always apply a dark brown or a brown transition it into that black never just put that black it doesn't look natural it looks very harsh you want it to be seamless and smooth so now I'm going in with Makeup Geeks Corrupt with a more precise brush and applying that black and then going back in with that brush that I applied the Americano taking no extra uh, product just what's on the brush and blending out that black so it's not harsh and stark on the eye and it looks very just flawless seamless and well blended into the crease 
For the lid, I'm taking this gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is by Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and I believe it's called Truffle Glitter. I'm going to leave everything I use in the description box below, so don't worry about it. And I'm applying this with the flat, I believe this is a small elf brush. I'm just applying this all over the lid. Highly, highly pigmented. This is actually my first Anastasia of Beverly Hills color, and I'm really, really, really digging it. It is a babe. And I'm just going to take that brush that I applied that brown and blend together everything so that it is seamless. For the eyeliner, I'm taking this black pencil by Absolute and applying this into the waterline. And on the outer portion, I'm taking it a little bit underneath the waterline. Because then I'm going to smoke it out with a bit of Americano. And then I'm going to take a bit of that Corrupt on that same um, detailer brush that I had used. And apply that uh, closer to the crease. I'm sorry, closer to the waterline on the um, outer portion of the eye, so that it's like a little bit more smoky. Oh, I took it all the way. I didn't even realize that. Okay, all the way on the uh, bottom waterline, and then we're going to apply our lashes. I used my guys. I don't know what lashes these are. I really don't. I apologize. Oh, these are the Coco Lashes in the Style Ariel. Yes, these are the Coco Lashes in the Style Ariel. Sorry about that. For blush, I'm taking Coco Blush, my Kiko Cosmetics blush in the color Soft Touch. And I'm just applying that to, of course, the apples of my cheek and then blending it backwards. To set the face, I'm going to take that Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist again and just apply that all over the face. After I've done that, I'm going to apply the... Uh, Giga Play Mascara by MAC to the um, bottom lash line. I always try to apply it after so that it doesn't um, drip onto the face. For lips, I'm taking my Absolute Lip Liner Pencil. It's in a dark brown. Any dark brown pencil will do. And I'm going to take a newbie lippy. This is by NYX. This is in the Lingerie uh, color. I have no idea. I will leave it in the description box. And at first when I put it on, I was like, whoa, that's bright. But once I blended it in, it was really, really amazing. It does not dry extra, extra like drying. And it, it's a wonderful, wonderful product. I am going to try more of them because I was really, really impressed with these liquid lipsticks. They, they dry beautifully. They go on beautifully. If you don't own any, I would definitely invest. I got mine from Ulta. Then I'm going to pull out these curls that I do way too often, but I love them. And being that I don't use heat, they just work for me. I, I, I put them in. It takes me about 10 minutes if I do them tight, five if I do them loose. And then I use my fingers to like pull them out and I'm good to go. Like that's all it is to it. But this is the final look. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed. I hope you choose to recreate. Don't forget to tag me. All my social sites are listed down below. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.